I got fired from a job that I burned myself out for and my biggest fear was getting fired. I was doing everything to avoid the exact thing that happened because I forgot that it was a transactional relationship. Mm. They didn't owe me anything beyond my pay and I agreed to that. Yet somehow I lost sight of that along the way. They didn't say, hey, we guarantee you a job if you become an unrecognizable version of yourself and skip sleep and exercise and think about work 24 seven. They didn't promise me a forever if I put work above relationships. I wasn't required to miss out on the moments that matter most in my life to secure a spot at the company. They didn't have to keep me. They never did. I was so mad, like how could they have done this to me after I've done so much for them? But the joke was on me. I thought that if I gave 110% every single day of my life that they should too, but that just was never a part of Having a job is like having a girlfriend. They can fire you whenever. <laughs> they can fire you whenever. You can be doing your job as you're supposed to. And then she says, come into the office. You sit down and then she says, this is not going to work. Um, there's the door. And just like that, you get replaced by some other guy and that's just life. So I don't know. It's it's crazy that that sucks that she lost her job, but that is life. Well, I got fired again. <laughs> so I had to pull myself together because this doesn't deserve a cry. But I don't know if you follow me back in January, but I was a recruiter and I lost my job. And I also do like social media marketing and I ended up losing that job on the same day and I got pretty much fired twice in one day in January. The social media, everything like like the recruiting, that was just, you know, layoffs and stuff like that. And then the social media, they just obviously couldn't afford a budget for marketing, which totally made sense. But it was just kind of hilarious. Like, did I just get fired twice in one day? So yeah. Then I got this new job and I started and today I got fired again. So um wait, so you started a new job today. And you got fired the same day. Hmm. You got fired from three jobs. I wonder why. I would come on here. So with my platform, I just like tell people everything and just express everything. But I never talk bad about anything. I would never talk bad about a company. I would never talk bad about any situation or anything like that. I just make light of situations. So supposedly, I get a call today and they're like, we've seen your TikTok. Mm. And today's going to be your last day. And yeah. I was like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because it conflicts with the company's maybe morals or something it's people remember this these are your co-workers which are watching your tiktoks right and if they disagree with you for some apparent reason then you're you're out of there so you got to be careful like having social media and working uh, nine to five usually doesn't mix unless you're working at tiktok then maybe it's fine <laughs> and um some of the videos that they said there was one where um i was talking about training and i was like oh my god like does anyone go after training and they learn all this stuff and you're like wait what did i just learn i learned so much so they got mad about that and then another video um i was, came on here i was like i'm like confused i was like having a really depressed day and i was like do you ever have this feeling where it's like like you're not passionate about your job or you're like oh my god is this a job i'm gonna do forever but then you're just sad but it wasn't me bashing the job is more just like I went through this like confusing state where like, is this what I want to do or is this not what I want to do? Because like, I just, I'm turning 31 and it was like having that mental breakdown and I just come on here and just, you know, express how I'm feeling and seeing if anyone else feels that way. Then another one, I did kind of like a joke being like, um, I was like calling a client or whatever. Um, I think it was just like a voicemail and I've just like, be quiet. So they call you back, you know, just like making a joke because I did get, I did get a lot of people, clients and recruiters on this platform from my first video that blew up about recruiting. So like I always try to weave some things in there to see if like I can make any connections that way. So I'd like try to make light of the situation, sorry, of the situation. I think that cut off, but um, yeah. And so I'm like, I find it kind of bad that they didn't give me a warning. Like they should have been like, Hey, like we saw this, like we don't want you talking about your work at all. Um, and I would be like, okay, I'm so sorry. And I could have made that decision being like, okay, I'll take it down or, Oh, um, I love doing TikToks, And that's like been, I made this brand for myself that, I want to continue doing it. So that means like this job isn't for me. And they also were like, we see that you're posting on during work hours. And I'm mm. like, I always like, I, I'm like, well, I always post in the morning. I post three things in the morning. And I have it set up. So it sets and does it. And I'm just like, and also I'm like, what am I back in the restaurant industry where I can't just like go for four seconds and like post something. Like I'm a little confused. I think I'm gonna have to do a part two because this is a long yeah. story. The problem with working 
is this they feel like just because they give you a paycheck then they feel like they own you they feel like you are their property so they observe you then they look at whatever you're doing i was working at this place and i remember i used to work with like films great place i'll never talk bad about that place but i remember my boss calling me into the office once and he's he was like I saw you made this music video where you're on top of a car and going crazy. And I'm like, yeah, that's that's me. And he's like, you know, you have to think about what kind of what kind of image you're putting out there. And I was just like, I was honest with him. I was like, you know, this is why you guys hired me, because I'm very, very good at what I do. If you guys don't want me to continue working or whatever, if you guys have a problem with that, I have all these different platforms. Just say it. But if I'm being honest, I'm not gonna stop posting on my platforms. So they just had to make a decision. They sat down and then they had, they made a decision. And then I got to work there for at least, what was it like a year? And then that place closed down and then I was free. So you gotta be very careful when it comes to social media, posting things on social media, because anything, if they, they pick up on anything, you can get fired for it. On the day I got fired from my job, I totted into work and I started hearing everyone talking about how our company was on the news. A big Australian news company had covered us and a story. And I was like, what in the darn toot in hell have I missed? And a guy that didn't Tootin. even work for the company, who was just here fixing the lift, had to come over and tell me what the hell was going on. And he told me that the CEO of the company had allegedly fled overseas for the past five weeks because the daughter had embezzled 150 million. Excuse me, a guard. I sat in my seat in shock and her bail was billions of dollars. So I'm sitting at my desk and I look up the news story and I watch it in full. It's like a 10 minute news story. And I'm thinking, is nobody concerned? Like we're talking about it. Hearing the little game of Chinese whispers we're all playing. But nobody's thinking, hmm, maybe this is an issue. You know? Maybe this is not an ideal situation. And that's not even the kicker. Here's the kicker. I hadn't been paid for like four or five weeks. Whoa. And everybody else hadn't been paid for even longer. Some people had been waiting years seven weeks three Bruh, months. how do you wait years before you get paid that's that's just stupid i mean a month i get it two months but years come on no way what have you and so now i'm thinking hmm i wonder why we haven't been paid probably because she was embezzling a fuck ton of money you know what i mean and that's why none of the workers can get paid but we're all, we all just keep going we all just keep trotting on in our day jobs hoping praying and so naturally i'm going okay i'm gonna have to quit this job and then the safety officer comes up to me i was working at a construction site and he was like hey look we're just really quiet we're gonna have to fire you your last day's on friday i'm like hmm, we're quiet that's the reason are we 100 sure? are we on the same fucking planet right now but he's a really good guy he was really kind about it and then because i'm crazy and chaotic like that i post on my instagram story that i just got fired but my last day is on Friday and I say should I leave now or should I leave Friday like I put up a poll about my job so that other people could dictate my life that's what you should just leave directly if you find out that the company is under bankruptcy or if they're filing for bankruptcy then you should leave directly you should not wait until Friday because chances are that they don't even have enough money to pay you until Friday they're just prolonging the the inevitable so I would say leave directly what you want. And everybody voted leave. <laughs> so I left. I took mm. that piece of information. I took what everybody, excuse me, I took what everybody voted and I left at lunchtime and I didn't tell anyone. I probably should have. That was kind of slack. At the end of the day, the guy that pays me, kind of my boss, but not like the CEO, he calls me and he goes, I saw your Instagram story. <laughs> Apparently, without my knowledge, him and a bunch of my other coworkers, I don't even know who, follow me on my socials. <laughs> That's so wonderful that you see everything I post. But he tells me that and then we have a conversation about pay because remember we haven't been paid for weeks. He mm. pays me for the last week and a half. And then he's basically haggling me or gaslighting me, trying to convince me that he doesn't owe me more pay. But So then I sat down, I put my little Virgo mindset into play and I go through everything twice, send him the proof and he sends me the money and I'm like, all right, we're done. Fucking cutting ties at this point. I don't know where they are now, but it's not my business. Everybody there was nice, like it was a good vibe. But the pay, a little bit of an issue. The embezzlement stuff, also a little bit of a problem, you know? I don't know if they still follow me. If you do, hi, I am talking about it. Great for her that she jumped ship. Let's see here. That's a, This one's a hottie. I just got fired from my job. So I did recently just get hired as a server at a bar in downtown LA. But then just a couple days later today, I got fired from my full-time nursing job. So I did get the serving position as kind of like a job on the side to make some extra cash, but who knew it would have to be used as a cushion um, while finding a replacement for my nursing job. Aside from this, um, there is a few
few other things <laughs> I have going on in my life, a few other major changes. Um, it just feels like when one thing happens, like it's like a domino effect. A lot of other big things always seem to Yeah, that's usually what happens in life. <laughs> at the same time. Their reason for letting me go was not adding up. You got hot problems. It just was not making sense. But, you know, when people have their minds set on something, it's kind of pointless to try to explain yourself. And there's no way I'm going to beg a job not to let me go. And also, on top of that, um, something in me just felt like, like it's okay. Like, it's okay to let this one go. There's something else. Just let it go. Life is a little tough right now. <laughs> but I'm tougher. <laughs> there has been way more situations in my life that I... She should have said, life is a little tough right now, but I'm hotter. <laughs> Hot problems. Hi, guys. I just got let go from my job. I wasn't expecting that this morning. So I'll be fine. I work for Midday Squares in marketing. They had to like let go of the marketing division. <laughs> which is fine it just like came as a bit of a shock i'm a strong believer that everything happens for a reason able to maybe make more tiktoks and create more content for you guys oh i'm gonna miss it i'm really gonna miss it everyone was amazing and i've learned so much in the past like eight months i'm still in the parking lot i haven't moved because i actually don't know how i'm gonna drive home but yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys and just like be really real this is life and you know you gotta get up and keep grinding if anyone's hiring and marketing anyone knows anyone that's hiring a marketing specialist um i'm free oh. onwards and upwards from here hey that's super horrible because you see the thing is like there's an oversaturation when it comes to tiktok youtube bro even when sometimes when i'm posting i'm like bro <laughs> i wonder if this video is gonna blow but then again, you gotta have faith. I'm listen. I got some few months, and we'll see what happens. But that is crazy.